Assalamualaikum. We from Group 13. Today, we will explain about our lab assessment which is FSK modulation by using MATLAB software. As you can see, we already designed our coding inside MATLAB. <coughs> okay. Now, for the first part. For the first part, we use to declare the input data. Our input data is already have been given, which is x is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, at this part, we use to represent input information, information as digital signal. But in this going have two part. Okay. For the first part, we used to convert the matrix digit. We used to convert the matrix digit. And the second part, we used to plot graph digital input signal by using matrix digits. Okay, after that, add FSK modulation. In FSK modulation, it's divided into three parts. First part, we use to declare two parts of frequency that represent high and low, which is F1 and F2. Okay. For the second part, this part works to compare the input data. If data is 1, we insert carrier frequency 1 into matrix modulation. If data is 0, we insert carrier frequency 0 into matrix modulation. And the last part for FSK modulation. Uh, at this part is for plot the FSK modulation waveform. Okay, now we look to FSK D modulation. Okay, for FSK D modulation. At this part, it show the modulated signal is combined back with carrier frequency through convolution and integrate. And for this part, the result is compared with half amplitude of carrier signal. And for the last part for frequency demodulation, we use this coding to plot uh, FSK demodulation waveform. Okay, this is as you can see, this is result after we run the coding, and this is the input data, is our input data. This is FSK modulation waveform, and the last one is. Uh, FSK demodulation waveform. Okay, now I will explain uh, what terms that we call for uh, low frequency and high frequency. Okay, when uh, at low frequency, we call it as a space, and uh, at high frequency, we call it as a mux. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.